Parsing students face a seat shortage as a consequence of the HSC results. After 95% of students completed the higher secondary certificate, HSC, and comparable tests this year, a seat crisis at higher educational institutions loomed over the country. 1.31 million students completed the tests, with 1,89,169 receiving the highest grade point average GPA, of 5, according to the University Grants Commission's annual report for 2020. The country's overall capacity for public and private institutions is just 1.24 million UGC. According to the UGC and the Ministry of Health, public universities have 47,171 undergraduate seats available, while public and private medical and dentistry institutes can accommodate 10,408 MBBS students. 1,85,157 freshmen may be accommodated in private colleges around the nation. The aforementioned numbers show that the entire number of undergraduate places at the country's institutions is barely enough to accommodate all of the GPA-5 achievers, much alone the almost 1 million additional students who passed. Educationists bemoan the fact that the number of high-quality higher education institutions has not increased in tandem with the country's growing number of GPA-5 students, resulting in a seat shortage. They went on to say that, Given the scarcity of available places, many students' dreams for further education lay elsewhere. In 2021, 1,61,807 students received a GPA of 5, compared to 47,286 in 2019. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the HSC examinations were not taken in 2020, and the pandemic-induced auto-pass system was blamed for the huge rise of GPA-5 achievers in 2021. Abdul Malik, the father of successful student and Jean Bintik Hadija, voiced his concerns about his daughter's future. I'm not sure whether she'll be able to get into her preferred university or topic. Professor Emeritus Manzur Ahmad of Brack University was concerned that using students' GPA to choose pupils for further education might cause complications. Rural regions fell behind metropolitan areas in terms of education quality before the epidemic, stated academician Professor Nazrul Islam. The pandemic closures leveled the playing field for pupils, which influenced test results. To preserve the quality of education, proper monitoring is required. Increasing the number of seats while maintaining quality is tough, he noted.